Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. So I was at the range the other day doing some footage on the Sky CPX2 9mm handgun. This is a great little budget option handgun. I did a full review on it if you haven't checked it out yet. But I was at the range uh, just doing some tests on her. I'm actually planning on, or was planning on doing a uh, torture test, kind of test the reliability in different elements for this handgun. And in the middle of testing, when I was almost done, kind of getting ready to start really doing the review and getting the elements set up for all the testing for it, I ran into a very unique malfunction, and that malfunction is what is known as a squib, or a squib load, or a squib round. Now before I go into any deeper kind of depth on that, I caught it all on camera, so it's kind of unique, kind of rare, honestly. I've never seen it myself. Um, I've never seen it happen to me. I've never seen it happen to anyone on the range. I've only seen kind of the aftermath of what a squib load can do to a barrel and a handgun. So let's roll the footage, and then we'll come back, talk about what happened, what we're gonna do next to kind of try to fix it. There's a squib load in there. That's not good. So did you catch what happened? It's kind of hard to see and I actually got really lucky because this is a very dangerous malfunction if you don't catch it and if some things don't go right on your end. So luckily for me, 10 round mag, all nine rounds in the front went off just fine. That 10th round, if you saw it, just kind of fizzled. What happened was just some of the gunpowder went off, just enough to make a very small noise. It was very minimal. It didn't really sound like anything. And the gunpowder went and pushed the 9mm round out just a little bit. I'll roll some pictures here right now of what happened right after. And what happened was it just rolled it out just a little bit, got stuck in the barrel, and that is the squib load, squib round or squib uh, that happened. Now the danger of that is if it did manage to eject that shell, if you didn't notice that there was a malfunction and I didn't rack the slide back to check what was happening and you tried to fire another round or if it lets you fire another round and you didn't notice the difference in the sound and there was a, a round somewhere stuck in that barrel you could either stack a bunch of rounds in there until the barrel explodes or instantly you're going to explode your frame uh, possibly your slide and it is a very dangerous malfunction to have I got very very lucky also, side note, I'm sure you guys are gonna ask, what ammo we're using? Well, we're using this Browning ammunition, 124 grain, nine millimeter FMJ. All right, so it wasn't something where I was reloading myself and I messed up the measurements. Obviously, you reloaders out there know what you need to make sure you actually do the proper measurements. If you measure way too low, you're gonna have a squib load like that. Um, but that wasn't the case here. It's almost like the powder was bad or it was sealed wrong. I don't really know uh, with all that powder kind of residue kind of sprinkled in there, um, but this stuff right here was the culprit this time. And like I said, I don't know if I could blame the manufacturer because I've never had any problems with this stuff. And I've, I've shot probably about a good thousand rounds of this stuff so far. They come in these nice, convenient 150 round boxes. But I would be wary of buying this in the future, I think, to be honest. But again, squib loads can happen to pretty much any manufacturer. QC, quality control, can have problems at times. And things happen with the powder, with all that good stuff. So I don't know what caused it, but this is the ammunition I was using. So going forward, what we're gonna do is I'm probably gonna do a video on how to fix it. Um, I've never done it myself on fixing it. I've seen other people do it. Uh, I've seen gunsmiths do it as well. That's kind of like the last ditch effort, bring it to a gunsmith to get that round out. Um, we're gonna try a couple of different methods at first to kind of get it out. Um, you can use a dowel rod that's about the same diameter as the barrel, something real thick, thick piece of a dowel rod to go and try to push it out. You wanna to try to push that round out. If that doesn't work, you can use a, a thick brass uh, push, kind of like a brass cleaning rod. Something a little thick in there to really kind of push that round out as well. And again, I'll show that picture right here real quick one more time, just to show you kind of what we're dealing with here and the fact that it has quite a bit to go out of that barrel. So we're gonna try to push it out. Last ditch effort, we'll go to a gunsmith. Uh, but unfortunately, these skies are so cheap 
is it really worth going to a gunsmith? I mean, these things are under 150 bucks. Um, but the cool part is, if I get it out, everything functions. Double action works great. Slide locks back. Takedown works. Uh, you'll see uh, in that picture earlier just some gunpowder residue kind of sprinkled around there. Nothing too crazy. Uh, I got really, really lucky, like I said. So, well, I hope this video helped you guys understand what a squib load or a squib round is um, and how dangerous it really can be um, and how lucky I think I was for this. But always, you know, kind of listen for that stuff, all right? I mean, there's a lot of malfunctions, stove pipes, and just kind of failure to eject and all that good, failure to uh, extract and all that stuff. If you notice a malfunction that's kind of just weird, all right, or if you hear something weird, just stop shooting. Stop shooting, inspect the chamber, check to see what's going on, inspect the barrel. If you hear something weird like I experienced, you have to really look down that barrel because I had to actually look and it's hard to tell. I ended up taking the gun apart and looking down the barrel, I was like, wow, there's a round stuck in there. This is going to suck. <laughs> so. If you hear something weird, it's kind of a safety reminder, check, all right? And that goes for any new shooters. If you give this gun to a new shooter, they won't know what to listen for, so pay attention, all right? If someone's shooting your gun, pay attention, okay? It's just safety to you, safety for others. There you go. So, as always, guys, if you have any questions at all, hit them in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer them. Subscribe to the channel, like this video, follow us over on Instagram, like us on our Facebook page for all the latest and greatest deals on the internet, and I'll see you in the next review.